Thanks to digital banking, you can bank anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Select the Commercial menu, then Payments. Select the corresponding transaction type within the new Payment drop-down menu. Designate the SEC class code. This will not apply to payroll since it is automatically assigned a PPD class code. Enter the company entry description if desired. This is a description of the entries contained within the batch. This is an optional step. Select the corresponding subsidiary in the From or To drop-down menu. Select the corresponding offset account from the drop-down menu for this transaction. Enter the effective date of the transaction by clicking on the calendar icon and selecting a date. To set up a recurring payment, click the Set Schedule option. Select how often the transaction should repeat. Designate when the transaction should stop. Either select on or before date and designate the stop date, enter the number desired of recurrences, or select forever until I cancel. Click Set Recurring Transaction to finish the recurrent setup process. If the recipient already exists, select the corresponding recipient from the drop-down menu and then enter the desired transaction amount. If the recipient has not yet been set up, Select the New Recipient link within the drop-down menu. Reference the Recipient Management video if additional details are needed on this step. To add more than one recipient, click the Add Multiple Recipients link and select the desired recipients. Click Add when done. Review the details on the screen for accuracy and select Approve if authorized. Otherwise, select Draft to initiate the transaction.